Hello, this is Darren from darrenscorner.com and today I'm going to give a short presentation on how to create a custom preloader using a static image inside of Tumult Hype. Uh, I'll be using Tumult Hype version 3.5.1 today so if yours looks a little different you might be using a different version here. Um, I have a, uh, a game that I made that was inspired by a very very old Atari 2600 game called Adventure. Uh, just kind of was reading a book on called Ready Player One that talked a little bit about it so I decided to uh, see if I could implement it in Hype and I, I think I did a pretty good job. Um, but the problem is it has a lot of resources. It has a lot of audio files, some video files. Uh, we can see over here we've got quite a few different scenes that we have that we switch around with. So um, when I host it on my website it takes a little bit of time to load. Now we can go in and do the automatic loading indicator um, and then we just get the generic loading button. But I wanted to customize it. So um, I think I'll show how I did that today. Uh, first of all this is a custom document it's 800 by 500 pixels 800 pixels wide by 50 500 pixels high um, we have to keep that in mind now our first step is inside the inspector we're going to hit uh, command one and go to the document part and uncheck show loading indicator right there <clears throat> So we uncheck show loading indicator and then we go through the usual process of uh, creating our uh, HTML file. So I'm going to say file export as HTML5 folder and we get our warnings. We can ignore those. Export. I'm going to dump this onto the desktop and I'll just call it preloader because that's what we're demonstrating and we need to ch make sure that the HTML file and creating closing folder are checked. This one include text content for search engines if you have it checked or don't have it checked doesn't matter but these two are important. So I do that and I say save and there it is. At this point we can quit. So I'll say hype quit hype. Here is my new folder that has one HTML file and then my preloader.hype resources folder that then has all of my PNGs and my waves and the JavaScript and all the stuff that I added in to customize that. Now I want to add this image to show that when it's preloading um, and again it's uh, just says adventure is loading please wait instead of the generic loading button. Now it's important to make sure that this image is the same resolution, is the same size as the canvas that you're using inside Hype. So you'll notice it is 800 by 500. So to add this in, I'm going to take the JPEG and put it in this folder. Notice it's called image1.jpg. And then I'm going to open up the HTML file with a standard text editor. I like using Text Wrangler. If you want to use something else, that's perfectly fine. And then there's just three lines of code that we have. If we look in here, hopefully you're familiar a little bit with HTML, we can see we have a head section and a body section. And in the body section, we just have a div that has uh, whatever the name of the file is, preloader underscore hype underscore container. And then we have our script that calls the hype preloader.hype resources. Between the opening div and the opening script tag, I'm going to add a couple lines. And I'm just going to add the following. I have three lines to add. Uh, an opening div, an image tag, and a closing div. So I'm going to say div, and then I have to customize the style. Um, let's style equals. We're going to say position, colon, absolute, semicolon, top, colon, 0px, semicolon, left, colon 0px semicolon and then the height and width. I want to make sure they match what we had before so I'm just going to say width colon 800px semicolon height colon 500px semicolon double quotes and I close the div tag. Next inside that I'm going to put an image tag and this is going to show the image that I want to appear while we're loading all those other files here. So image source equals dot forward slash and I believe we called this image one dot jpeg image one dot jpeg double quotes forward slash greater than now you don't need the dot here that just says start in the current directory and then look for image one it's just a mix I've always explicitly uh, put my path names in there and then the third line that we have is our closing div tag 
So if we look at this, just three lines that we have to code in by hand, div with that style statement, the image tag, and a closing div. And I say file save and quit. Now at this point it's tempting to just click on the HTML file. The trouble is all of this is local right now. So everything loads extremely fast within milliseconds. So if I click on it, boom, we just saw that really, really super quick. And then it starts up. Oops. So, um, so I think the better way to demonstrate that is I'm going to use Dropbox, but again, since I customize the HTML, I have to do this kind of the old-fashioned way. I'm going to open up my local Dropbox folder, and I'm going to put this into the public directory, and I'll just drag this over here. There it is, called Preloader. We can see that gets uploaded to Dropbox. Uh, I'll close this and then I have to view the public URL. So I'm going to go to my dropbox.com account. Let's take just a second. And go into public. There it is. And we should see there's my preloader. And there's the HTML file. If I just click on it once and highlight it, I'll do copy public link. There's where the outside world can see this. Copy, paste, and go. And we can see there's our preloader. And once all the files are loaded, then we start up. So, pretty straightforward. Nothing too tricky there. Um, please feel free to uh, email me if you have any questions. By the way, if you want to see some of the other games that we've created in Hype, please check out games.darrenscorner.com and we can see all sorts of examples that I've created in Hype and creating more all the time. Uh, right here's Adventure. So if you want to click on that one, it's again, it's a pretty old game, but it's kind of fun. I've actually put my own Easter egg in there. Um, Again, if you've read Ready Player One, you can kind of see what that's all about. But uh, it's pretty fun, pretty exciting. Anyways, thanks so much, and have a great day. Bye.